to VTech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your own NAS server with the Raspberry Pi. So what is a NAS server? NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. A NAS system can be used as a storage device that can, that can be used anywhere in your network. Why would you need this? Well, say for instance you run out of storage on your device and you have some files that you need to delete but they're all important to you. Well, with the NAS server, you can you can move the files to the storage device and free up some space on your device. Not only that, but you can access those files from any device as long as they're connected to your network. Things you'll need for this build. You'll need a Raspberry Pi. I recommend anything above a 3. You'll also need a micro SD card. This is to write the OS onto the Raspberry Pi. You'll also need an micro SD card adapter to plug the micro SD card into the laptop. You'll need some sort of storage system like an SSD or hard drive to plug into your Raspberry Pi. And finally, you need some sort of screen like a monitor or display. Okay, so once you've gotten all the things you need, open up a new, a new window in Google Chrome and search up Raspbian Download. Click on it, and select the first one and go to download zip. The next thing we want to download, download is Elena Etcher. Download for Windows. I've already downloaded this, so I'm not going to download it. But what you would do is, once it's downloaded, select this and press open, and it should uh, walk you through the installation process. Now that we've finished installing everything, open up Elena Etcher. Okay, and now it's already selected my SD card. If there's nothing on here, make sure your SD card is in there and your computer is recognizing it. And if you want a different one, Press change and your options should be here. Now flash from a file, click that, and select Raspbian. Now we select flash. Yes, there. Now I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, once the flash is complete, I'm gonna X out of Bolina Etcher and you wanna take out your micro SD card. I'm going to plug your micro SD card into the Raspberry Pi. You want to plug in your Ethernet cable if you're going to use Ethernet. And you want to plug in your hard drive or SSD or whatever file storage you're going to use. Power up your Raspberry Pi. Okay, so now that we're on the Pi, we want to cancel this. And you want to make sure you're connected to the internet. I'm connected to um, through Ethernet. You may be connected through Wi-Fi, but I wouldn't recommend it because Wi-Fi is slower than Ethernet, especially for a file server. So first thing we're gonna do is open up our terminal, and we're gonna type. We have we're gonna type sudo apt dash get install ntfs 3g. Now this is to work with. Uh, NTFS formatted drives. Oh. Okay. Now we need to install the Samba package by typing sudo app dash get install Samba Samba dash common dash Yes. And put yes. Okay. Now that now that that's finished, we have to make a new directory in the root. So type sudo mkdir forward slash um, anything you like so I'm gonna call it server so now if we do ls forward slash 
you shall see server right here. So I'm gonna put in everything now. And now to find all the drives connected to our Raspberry Pi, we should try we type L S B L K. Now um my drive is SDA1 and it's mounted to media pi slash pi. Now if yours isn't uh, mounted to everything, you can skip this part. If it is, then um, open up your folder, select the Pi thing, or whatever is your drive, and if you see this mount a symbol, right click on it, and put unmount volume. Now it'll take you back here. Now if you type lsblk again, you can see it's not mounted to anything. So, now we want to type sudo mount slash dev slash sda1 space and slash server that just mounted the uh, drive to the server directory so now we should type sudo nano slash etc slash samba slash smb dot con config and we want to scroll at the very bottom of the page. Now we want to type these. So this line can have anything you want, but this is the name. And then these you should follow. Now, for the path, you want to put forward slash and whatever you call the directory that we created. Now, control O and enter, control X. So, take you back here, clear everything, and now we're done. We su successfully created an asset. Now, we'll go back to our desktop, right click on this, and run. And you want to type in for uh backslash 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 whatever your pi's ip address and push okay and it should take you to your um file explorer and it should give you um an authentication uh place where you put pi raspberry unless you've changed your um, username and password so pi would be your username and Raspberry would be your password. Now, to check that this is really working, I've created a test folder, but, or test file. So we'll go into our directory. Oh, it's down there. Server. Create a new folder. Call it test2. So this is a folder. And now if we go back to our desktop, you can see test 2 is created. So, I hope you liked my video, guys. Please uh, comment down below what you thought. This was actually my first YouTube video. And please like and subscribe. Catch you guys next time.